It is the weirdest, weirdest thing right now. All right, it's the weirdest thing ever. We don't have the market. The market's not working. Um, welcome back to another video. It is your boy, um, Run from Run the Foot Market. Welcome back to another video, guys. Um, I was going to post a video for you guys tonight on um, tomorrow being ones to watch, but the market is down. So I'll come and show you guys. Um, What's going on? So if you guys head over to EA Sports' Twitter, uh, you guys will see, due to unforeseen technical issues, we have temporarily disabled the transfer market in foot for PS4 and PC. We are currently investigating the issue and we are working on a resolution. Updates to come when available. Yeah, that's what's going on right now, guys. So at the moment, we don't have access to this game and the market. So you can't go on the companion app, you can't go on console, you can't do anything. It does not register, it does not show anything. Um, so there's no trading, there's no investing, and there's no keeping or selling. So none of that is happening. But um, what we can talk about today is the brief, the briefness of tomorrow, what's going to go on and things like that. Now, the rumor right now is that EA actually took down the market because there's somebody that has come up with like a coin glitch, coin farming glitch, right? And they're making a lot of coins uh, and I guess things like that. And it, it, it's all going downhill, apparently. I don't know. That, that's the rumor, but I don't think that's the true reason why they tur tur turned it off. I don't. I don't know, man. I'm not really sure. So, yeah. Anyways, EA's another mess up today. They've already messed up a million times. Um, does it surprise me? No, it, it does not surprise me um, at all. There's, it, it's not surprising. Anyways, so tomorrow's going to be ones to watch, guys. Um, and if you don't know what the ones to watch promo is, basically um, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, uh, the EA Sports will release a ones to watch promo. There will be a few promo packs, probably not lightning rounds. Um, and then essentially what's going to happen is the 23 players who we went over in another video, but I will show you guys again, uh, on Footbin, these players guys will hop into packs. Um, and so I want to kind of talk with you guys a little bit briefly tonight on what you guys can expect tomorrow. Uh, and just talking about maybe the market just in general about what the trends are going to be. Now the trends so far have been super weird. And this is why I really don't like comparing trends from year to year because they're different every year. It seems like this year we had this really early on inflation. Uh, where people kind of just thought that they had to get their teams as early as possible. Not a lot of you guys, most of the pros, so they really bumped the market up early. Um, and right now, what's limiting the market from really skyrocketing and going up and, and everybody really being happy with the prices to sell their players at, the thing at the moment that is hurting it, uh, the thing currently is the fact that, well, um, to be honest, uh, right now there, there, there is no, there's no weekend league. So weekend league is the main reason why player prices go up and why things fly. So it's the main reason why, you know, this team is not worth what it's really going to be worth next weekend. And if you guys look at my team, my team would be a perfect example of a very like weekend league esque team. This is a very, very similar to weekend league team, maybe outside of a few players in the squad. It's a pretty weekend league, uh, you know, ver like variant of a squad. So you know, with the market tomorrow and the way that you looked at it last year, last year was interesting because most of the time it kind of stayed the same or it rose through early access um, with the market, right? A lot of it, a lot of it continued to do that. Um, and then when you got to the full game release, the market went down a little bit because of the actual supply that came on that day. And then the day after that, it started to go up and up and up. Now, right now, I don't really know what to think of it. What I do know is that I think players that are really low rated tomorrow pretty much anything under 81 will just kind of go down um, just a little bit and it, it's going to happen because of the supply tomorrow also not only is ones to watch um, guys but tomorrow is also the standard release of the game so everybody in the world gets the game uh, tomorrow that's a very big deal right so if everybody's coming on to play the game it's a big deal right a lot of people are gonna open packs and it's gonna supply a lot of the market so something you guys have to keep in mind um, you know as we go and and with tomorrow and I think what you guys have to understand is buying this whole concept of buying a team you need to try to have your team before the rewards next week because I think when it hits rewards time next week, um, anybody that anybody that really guys decides to play, I mean play the weekend league is going to panic by the team after rewards. But that's why I just think this weekend with the rewards, there was actually a rise this morning. I made some coins and some players. Then Belly this morning was 65k, so I bought him at 55. A lot of these kind of players. This is like a really a, really a meta. Matweedy's a meta. Um, you know. Allen's a meta. These kind of guys did really well uh, for a few hours today. And I think they started to go down again because I think people right now are just consistently too scared to buy a team. I think until people know that we're in the full cycle of the game, till we get the weekly link, till we know what the weekly schedule is, people are just, they're kind of not really buying teams yet. And I know for me, like I, I had probably a mil or a mil and a half or somewhere around maybe a little bit more through my trading so far. 
And I just upgraded to a little bit of a team today. It took me a few days to even get up to this upgrade. So I know for me, the, the idea of being reluctant or hesitant to buy a team is a likely thing that's going around the community. So the real market rise happens when people start to commit to a team, when people start to upgrade their team, when people start to buy new players. That's when that market rise happens. Now, it's obviously hard to give you guys a market analysis at the moment. Um, will the market go up tomorrow? I'm not really sure. I mean, I think with some of the special cards that are out of packs, for sure, Team of the Week will get low tomorrow. And another thing tomorrow that you guys should keep out for, uh, watch out for, is the ones to watch, man. Ones to watch is, guys, these guys, I mean, these guys are going to be smacked into packs tomorrow. Some of them will even play on Friday, and most of them will play on Saturday or Sunday. So a lot of them are going to get really cheap tomorrow. And if you guys want to invest, and, and the way Ones to Watch works is essentially you have the option to pick up the player, sell it in the hype for the game, or pick up the player um, and and theoretically if you want hold it for the game and hope the player scores and usually with a goal or two these players will start to grow in value and that and that's one way you guys could navigate it if you really choose to um with your coins and that's a way you guys can trade i know you guys have been asking me for trading methods that's a trading method this week and i'll probably mess around with it a little bit i'm currently really interested in this upcoming weekend in lukaku i'm really interested in um ben yetter lozano and uh who's the third felix fourth Felix. So those four, I'm really interested in. The reason why I'm interested in those four is this reason. Lukaku's not a FIFA player, but Lukaku is playing amazing and Inter's playing amazing right now. So I like him to actually score. He's probably one that will see less hype. So you could risk holding him through the game. Um, ben Yedder, Lozano, and Felix are all FIFA players. People really like those players in real life and in FIFA. So people are going to probably bet on those players and pick them up before the game, hoping that they score. Now, what you need to understand about ones to watch trading Guys, is that if the player obviously doesn't have a good game, they're going to drop a lot in price. So you just have to be prepared for that, guys, because it is a real thing and it is possible to happen that if the player does not play well, they are going to drop a lot in price. And I want you guys to know that. I want you guys to be aware of it and know that that is, that is 100,000% a thing, guys. So keep that in mind as we go. Um, other than that, though, guys, I mean, look, the market is impossible to really understand right now. Tomorrow morning, we have um, something pretty special coming into the game. Uh, and that is going to be a player of the month Lewandowski. So I want you guys to understand that um, just because obviously Lewandowski uh, is a very, very big time player. So if you guys search up Lewandowski in the flipping database, uh, he's already won the award. So we know what the stats are going to be. Uh, they tweeted it out last week. So he's going to get this on f tomorrow. I think he'll be about three to 400 K. Um, if they make, it wouldn't be surprised me if EA ends up making it like 600 K. I think they'll make it three to 400 K. It's an early on SBC. I think they're going to want to get people to do it. And I do think he's a really good card. I will tell you guys that much. I think Lewa is going to be a beast. Um, there's no denying that. So I think Lewandowski would be a very popular card right now. If I mean, you know, if you guys are guys just sitting around, not doing much, there is an opportunity when the market does come back on for the PS guys and the PC guys. Um, a lot of the high rated market is really cheap. Um, if you look at the prices of 85s at the moment, you guys can simply do this on flipping. Uh, if you look at the price of 85s, it, they are so low, man. You can get 85s right now for 5,000 coins. So yes, they're a goalkeeper, but you can stock your club with these 85s that, to be honest, like look at this guy, man. I mean, Koke is 85 rated is 6.2K. I'll tell you this, boys, he's not going to stay at that price. Um, he's not going to stay at that price for a long time. So to the SBC guys, man, maybe you guys are in the, you know, the late night NA and things like that. Um, you know, this is something that you guys can really look into to invest because I think there's some profit just with a club stock. Now, the only problem with this is if you don't hit the Lewandowski player of the month in the morning and you do choose to pick up some 84s, some 85s, some 83s, some 86s, and you don't actually hit the, you know, the player of the month, it's not, it doesn't really work out. I think the issue that you guys are going to run into just a bit, which I worry about, um, is that obviously we're going to have some packs later on the day. So I think that some of the, the fodders in terms of the 83, 80, 45s, 86s that aren't really worth much because people don't play with them will drop down and that will be a prime investing opportunity. Um, two other things that I do want to talk about with all of you. Um, one other really important thing is tomorrow uh, we are going to get a vote, um, vote SBC. Um, and I think I would like to try to find new players. Is it under new players, more new players? I don't know if they put the vote, if Flip and put the vote in. Um, I don't think they put the vote in. So the vote was between Eder Militao, um, Gucci, St. Maxim, and the third player, I don't even remember, but I think St. Maxim is going to win. Um, so that SPC, I think, is going to come out tomorrow. So that's another thing that you guys got to be prepared for because I think they'll make it probably 84 or 85 rated. So I think at, at your you know, at, at, at your, you know, want to do it tonight. I think it's not a bad idea, guys, to pick up 83, 84, 85, 86s tonight. Just put them in your club, man. I'm thinking tomorrow, man, like that's a very in-demand SBC. Tomorrow's two SBCs coming out for sure. And I'm telling you right now, if that car comes out, people are going to do it. You guys, 
are crazy if you don't believe me because if you've seen the market his i think he's a 79 rated card his 79 rated card has been selling for 18,000 coins if that doesn't show you like market demand then i, I really don't know what does so that's a happening event tomorrow one thing i wanted to talk about because you guys keep asking me if you should buy your teams or not look it is the new fifa you guys should go enjoy players that you want to play with. Don't worry about your coins too much in the beginning of FIFA. There's plenty of investing and trading opportunities throughout the year. You could trade whenever as long as the market's working, which it's not right now. Um, but look, guys, I think there's a lot of people that are confused if they should do this or that. You guys got to do what you want at the end of the day. I think the thing that I'll tell you, the only thing that I'm really worried about, um, I'm, I, I'm knowing for me right now that Weekend League is next weekend. So I don't care what's going on in the next seven days because I know Thursday after awards, um, and especially the Thursday after next Thursday, because that's going to be the first week in the rewards. People are going to upgrade their teams and, and significantly, right? Significantly market's going to get inflated. What I am a little worried about is Tuesday. Um, and the reason why is because I'm, I'm scared that I think EA might drop the, the UCL content. They might start that up again, where they put the blue cards on the market and they start bringing those out. I'm a little worried that that comes out Tuesday because the way that EA is going to do it this year and the way that it's been seen slash rumored is that they're going to make the blue cards all the same rating um all of them are going to be the same rating guys the blue cards as the gold cards so if that comes out think about it i mean it's basically going to be double the supply um of gold SBC cards so it's going to bring a lot of lot of stuff onto the market man and it's gonna it's definitely i don't know if it's going to impact the gold prices necessarily but i just know when ea does bring out the ucl cards it just starts a panic on the market um so keep that in mind and another reminder to you guys that are doing maybe some investing or things like that um, tomorrow is obviously when 23 once to watch players are going to have their gold cards go out of packs. So if you guys want to do a club stock with those, that may not hurt to make some profit, you know, over time and, and, and throughout the week. So that may not hurt. And that's, I think a lot of you guys have been asking me, yo, Nick, like, what's your update on your, on your club? How are you doing, man, with your investments? You know, for me right now, guys, um, I'm grinding rivals a lot. I'm getting very good at the game. I feel like I found a good balance. So working on that, I've got Ibrahimovic, Gerard Moreno, um, Tagli Fico, Delaney, Nani, um, and I picked up all these Team of the League 1s, right? And I just kind of stored them in my club, guys, just for that Team of the League 1 investment vibe. I think Team of the League 1 is still pretty low, so if you want to get into it, you can. I think it's more of a longer-term hold. And then I kind of bought a little bit of a team today. And then I, I only have really for the ones to watch players that are going to be out of packs. So I picked up a Delict for the club. Um, I still have Benyedder, obviously, a Sarabia. And then that's really it, man. So we have now a Mil Militao, but he's not going to get a ones to watch tradable. It would only be an SPC. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the upload. Not much more to say than that. I can't even could do much because the market's not up. Um, I'm going to be live on Twitch all day tomorrow. So if you guys want to come hang out with me, we'll be there. Um, we'll be chilling. We'll be on the menus. We'll be grinding. So I'll see you guys there. Peace out.